In this video, we dive a little into the various particle effects included in CoreMelt DriveX4. We can find them in the category C2 DriveX4 particles. There are quite a few different ones and they all work more or less in the same way. So if we pick one here and just quickly track it, it will follow whatever I put the tracking shape on top of and will leave a light trail behind it. Over here at the top of the panel, we have various controls. These are specific to the individual effect. At the bottom, we have our track controls to turn on or off the tracking position, scale, or rotation independently of each other. And then below that, we have the XY offset scale rotation. This controls the offset for the start of the particles relative to the center of the track shape. We are free to play with these controls as much as we like without needing to retrack. Once the track is finished, we can look at changing the parameters. So here's the effect we've got. It's quite short and simple. If we wanted something more impressive, we could turn up the tail length, increase the scale, and increase the spread. And now play it back again. Whoa, that's a bit too much. Let's dial it back a bit. To further design the effect, we could change the particle color over its lifetime. But for now, let's take a look at one of these other effects. Find Track Ion Drive and add it to the clip. This effect should work well for adding a sci-fi styled thruster to the drone here for some extra power. First of all, let's track, then jump ahead to see where the track is finished. Let's go back and make some adjustments. First of all, we'll line up the start of the particle effect. It doesn't affect the track in this case, it just provides an offset. Now let's play with the particle parameters to make the small specks brighter and last longer and move faster. Whoa, oh too fast. Adjust the params until you've tamed the little white specks and they are behaving themselves properly. Now let's edit the plasma effect to start off with a red, and then shift to green over time. Dial up the speed a bit, and the life a little bit. And then we can look at the end result. Each of these particle effects have a different look, but they all work quite similarly. Particle controls at the top and the track offsets and position scale rotation options down below. Have a play and see what you can do.